You're watching Pig Trail Nation Game Day. All right, welcome back to our game day show. Now, with all this excitement, uh, this one's a tough one, Alyssa, yeah. because there was a young man that should have been a part of today, unfortunately could not. A part of the 2024 class would have been a freshman first game as a Razorback, but unfortunately, Dion Stutz passing away in an ATV accident on June 13th of 2023. His parents tell me that once he committed to Arkansas, he was ready to figure out how to win a national title for this program. He loved it so much. It was a pleasure to be able to spend time with them and sit down about how they've continued to mourn the loss of their son and how they're using him to move forward. That's all I know to do is to wake up, get up, and, and go, and that's all I know to do. And so I'm just surviving. I'm just doing what I know to do. I mean, there was times when we forgot to pay our bills, and we didn't pay anything and whatever, because I'm just trying to survive. I miss our house. It used to be laughing all the time, and everybody was happy. All, and we work all the time. When they come, it's like it all comes back. So the quantity that I cook, now I can cook it again, and like this is easy. I love it. <laughs> the part that is hard is it's just us. They can't stay. They're gonna have to go. And then that's the part where it is a roll when I say true roller coaster ride, that roller coaster that goes up, always about to crash. And so as the soon reality. as they leave, the reality comes back. I guess you'd say more of a comedian, the comic side, uh, a jokester. Uh, but still um, with serious at moments. I think that's how he defined living, is through laughter, through smiling. After his passing, when I was reading a lot of things from people, that's what, that's kind of was the common denominator that I got through all of it was, um, Dion saw me. Like he made, he, he saw me and said, hey, you're okay. There's nothing wrong with you. You're not flawed. And keep doing you. And then let other people see you doing you. That, day, I mean, looking at it now, was one of the strangest days. We were in the kitchen cooking, and I remember saying, Dino, where's Dante? Because he's supposed to be doing some math. And he said, well, I let him go to the ranch with Dion. And I said, what? And then all of a sudden, that phone rang. I've always been taught, don't scream, don't yell, listen to the information. Well, that went out the door because I just started screaming. All of a sudden, we, I realized when Dante comes to the door, is not Dante. And I'm like, whoever called me, this is not, this wasn't about my kids. Somebody got it wrong. My kids are not hurt because Dion has never got hurt. I mean, he's a big monster, like he's a hawk. So it's not him. And I remember saying, Dante, where's Dion? And he yells, my brother, my brother. Just drove the van through the field, through the well, through the pasture, and up the hill, and around to the backside. He's like, "It's here, it's there." And he's like, "We're past the pond, and on this pond, go this way." And sure enough, we arrived, and they, um, <laughs> the side by side was upside. Well, the side by side was laying over on the driver's side, and Dion was under it. And uh, immediately, I jump out, and I'm calling for him, and he doesn't say anything. He's not moving. He's motionless. And I try to lift it, and I'm like, man, me, being a big, strong guy all my life, I'm like, I grab it, and I, I'm like, I can't move this thing, Lord, what is wrong? And I turn around and put my back against it and try to squat and lift it. I'm like, oh, I can't lift it. I'm like, guys, can y'all please help me get this up? And the deputies jump out the car, out there, where they out of their trucks. And they came over, and the three of us picked it up with Dante was there, too. I didn't know where Dante was at that particular time. We got it up off of him. When I said, Dante, go by the van, stay by the vehicle. So at that particular time, I can, see, I can hear ambulance rolling as well, uh, sirens. And as I look up, the ambulance is coming pretty much from the field way, from, excuse me, from the front side of my in-laws, from the pasture, through the pasture, the way we drove in. Uh, and we were still down there, he was still working, doing CPR and um, doing compression, the wings landed, the EMTs landed, they were trying to resuscitate. Uh, but now, like, y'all can let go, he, it's not working. They were like, no, we got it. I was like, no. When I come in here, it, I, it's not like I don't cry anymore when I come in here. I just kind of sit and, and just think about, I mean, truly still, this is not real. Like I just, I mean, I just can't believe it. Like tears come to my eyes and then 
I'll be fine. I just start laughing with them, whatever, because I just can't believe it. Like, I look at a picture and I'm thinking, like, I can remember that day when it came in the mail and how happy he was when it came in the mail. And I'm just like, wow. There are a lot of people that are losing their kids, but you don't ever hear about the aftermath of what how people are going through it. And so I feel like this is where I'm leading, but I'm still grieving. And so I'm just, I, I want people to know, hey, there's somebody, there's somebody out here. You, you can just sit and you can just talk, and it's okay. It's okay to be mad. It's okay to cry. Um, it's fine. One, two, three. Oh, the balloon release, really, before everything occurred, they, uh, they did a balloon release and Miss Sue, which is uh, Miles' mother, um, and she gave a very, very lovely speech uh, that just kind of blew my mind with it when she was like, hey, we're not, it's not a, a, a true relief of all our grief, but this, this release is to allow us to release some of our grief as we mourn the loss, as we all mourn his loss. We just miss him so bad, you know, just, just this, um, you can, is a void with knowing that he was the glue to our family, like he was the glue that held everybody together, and that glue is gone, and just trying to find our way. I just want people just to remember how good of a person he was. I mean, he was a 19-year-old boy, true big boy, that loved everybody, you know, people that he knew and people he didn't know. And it's ironic he said that way he would tell his friends, he's like, look, I live my moment, I live my life for the day. Yep. He said, because I don't know where I'd be tomorrow. Mm -hmm. That's what we're trying to do. Dion Stutz, truly a silent servant, learned a lot about him and his family. And of course, they'll be watching Razorback games all season. They said, we plan to go to all these things. We'll be watching as, as he's watching from up above. DJ. Yeah, absolutely. What a story. Yeah. Great we'll have job, much Liz. more game day show and our predictions after this.